Hey, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about learning 10 songs using just three chords. Okay, now it's important that you know how to play these chords, and of course you wanna develop your strumming and chord changes and all those kind of things, but let's go ahead and run through these 10 songs just to give you something fun to kind of play. Now you might like one of these, you might, might like two of these, you might like all 10. The point is just to give you something for you to practice and just have some fun with, okay? So the three chords we're gonna need are going to be G, C, and D. And it doesn't matter how you play them. If you play your G with four fingers or three fingers, or you play your G to C like this, or you play G to C like this, whatever works for you, okay? These songs, it's, it's not gonna make any difference. Whatever's comfortable for you. So the first one we're gonna talk about is a song by Sublime called What I Got, okay? And all you're doing here is moving back and forth between D and G. So you're going D, Just D and G back and forth. That is the entire song, okay? Now, when I chose the 10 songs, I tried to make sure that I chose songs that really were only two or three chords, not just like a section and then you have to stop, but you really could play this entire song with just two or three chords. So what I got, literally D and G all the way through. So D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. That is the whole song, all right? The second one we're gonna look at, actually the next group of four songs all use exactly the same chord progression, which is D, C, and G. Okay, D, C, and G. Now again, it doesn't matter if you play your C this way or if you like to play D, C, and G like that, whatever works for you, okay? So the first one is going to be Sweet Home Alabama, okay? Sweet Home Alabama, you can simply play by going D, C, G. Okay, this, it, literally through the entire song, there's only one little teeny, teeny thing in there where it goes. There's a little teeny change in there and it's got an F chord and we're not even gonna worry about that. But I'm just telling you that you may not even notice it when you play the song, okay? You can play through the entire song of Sweet Home Alabama just doing D, C, and G over and over and over, okay? The next one is um, Werewolves of London. Okay, Werewolves of London is exactly the same thing, D, C, and G. And then the next one is All Summer Long by Kid Rock, which again is the exact same thing. Okay, so those three songs, exactly the same chord progression, almost exactly the same groove, okay? Now, the next one, this would be number five, is Can't You See by Marshall Tucker. Now, this uses those same three chords, but the setup's just a little bit different. You're gonna be playing D, C, G, D. Then you start all over with D again. So you're going D for a measure, C for a measure, G for a measure, D for a measure. Okay? I always teach these as what I refer to as a sandwich. It's a D sandwich. So you remember that you start with D and you end with D. That way, when you start all over, you remember to repeat D at the beginning again. So you're going D, C, G, and D. Then you gotta do D again and start all over. Okay, and that's your fifth song. The sixth song we're gonna look at is a song by George Thorogood, one of my favorite songs. It's called Get a Haircut, all right? Now this one starts with an intro that's just G. Now right here he starts singing, and right when he starts singing, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go G. C, then we're gonna go to D, then we start all over again. So if you think about it, you're going G, the intro before he sings is just G. You just keep playing G and have some fun. When he starts singing, the song then will become G, 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 four measures, then C, C, 
D, D. That's that song. So it's really an eight measure sequence that gets repeated over and over and over. G for four measures, C for two, D for two. Okay. Next one we're going to look at is number seven, which is Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. Uh, this goes like this. Just take those old records. G, C, D, and G. So this one is a G sandwich, okay? It's going G, G, G for two measures, C for two measures, D for two measures, and then G for two measures again. So try and visualize that in, in your head. You're just going G, G, C, C, D, D, G, G. Now, if for some reason you'd rather think of it as one measure and you're counting half time or something, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. The point is, it's just understanding the setup because these songs really are that easy and they're a lot of fun as long as you know your chords and you can do some strumming, right? So you're going G, G, C, C, D, D, G, G. Those are the measures. So it's a G sandwich. You got to start all over again with G when you're done, okay? The next one we're going to look at is Tulsa Time by Eric Clapton, okay? Now this one just uses G and D. Those are the only two chords in the entire song. So you're going G, Then we do the next part, which is D, 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 G. So let me show you this visually, what you're thinking. Tulsa time, when he starts singing, all you're doing is going uh, G, 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 D. Those are your four measures. And then you're going D, 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 G. So G for a measure, G for a measure, G for a measure, D for a measure. And then you're going to turn it around. D, 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 G. That's the entire song. Okay? So learning how to visualize these, these chord changes and different things like that, song structures, is really, really important. Okay? You can go on, you know, a website, try and memorize all this, and you're looking at the words, and it doesn't make sense. The nice thing is, is to simplify the, the visualization of this song in your brain. So if you want to play Tulsa time, you're going G, 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 then D. Now we're just going to do the other part, which is D, 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 G, and then it starts all over, G. So technically this would be like a G sandwich too, because you're starting with G and then ending with G, okay? Number nine is going to be uh, Hound Dog by Elvis. Now because I'm showing you everything using these three chords, um, we're going to change the key of this by using a capo. Okay, so what you would do is you would put the capo on the fifth fret. Okay, let's make sure it's on there nice. I mean, it is. And now, if I put the capo on the fifth fret, I can still use G and C and D up here. Okay, so if G, let's say G, C, and D are the only three chords you really knew. Well, now you could play Hound Dog putting the capo on the fifth fret. So if you think about it, you're going, you ain't nothing but a G. Then C, G, D, C, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, C, G, G. You ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> Another really fun song, really easy to play. And again, if you only know a couple of chords, use that capo and it's going to make it even easier. Okay? And then the last song we're going to look at is one of my favorite songs. It's called Everyday People by Sly and the Family Stone. And this thing is literally using G and C back and forth. And you could even skip the C and just play G for the entire song and it would still sound just fine. Okay, so let me show you this. If you were going... You could do that for the entire song. But if you're familiar with Sly and the Family Stone, if you're familiar with Everyday People, if you did this... Or if you played your C like this, it's even easier. If you go G, C, G... You can do 
do that for the entire song, okay? So here's 10 really fun songs that you can play with just three chords. Now, you can watch this video as much as you need to and pick the ones out of there that you want to try first and just watch that over and over and over and then start listening to the song and figure out how to play it, okay? So remember, it's really important. Stay positive, have fun with this guitar, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you click the subscribe button so you're always notified when I have new videos. And if you need help choosing a guitar course that's perfect for you, make sure that you click the Help Me Choose link in the description.